What up my piano friends, Zach Evans here and today I'm going to teach you how to compose in the style of Chopin. Now Chopin is my personal favorite composer, um, I've learned a lot of his pieces over the years and when I started composing my own stuff, I kind of wanted it to have that dark, beautiful Chopin feel to the songs because I loved it so much. And since I played so many of his songs, I kind of started figuring out the little tricks on how he gets those sounds and the little techniques and the structure he uses in his songs. Now to explain this to you, I'm actually going to explain it to you using a song I actually wrote so I can explain a concept and then I can demo it on the piano and show you exactly how it works. Now what I advise you to do is in the link below in the description, I'll have a link to the actual song. Open that up in another window because throughout this whole video I'm going to say, okay, and at you know, 1 minute and 57 seconds you're going to see he uses harmonic variation in this section. So open that up in another window and then you know come back to this video and we'll start the video. Alright so the first thing you notice in a lot of Chopin pieces, especially his etudes, is a lot of his pieces don't really have a huge focus on the melody. Often the melody is very very simple and often it's more of a pattern than even a melody and he focuses on the harmonic progression behind it. And oftentimes that melody or that theme is simply repeated with what we call harmonic variation underneath. Now to show you what I mean, um, I'm going to explain with a very concrete example. So in the song Renegade Power, if you've opened it up in another window, you'll notice at the beginning the theme is simply this. That's it, repeated over and over. So it's right, it's that same thing repeated over and over and over. Now, of course, we're going to switch the chords up underneath. So at first, the chords stick pretty much between E flat minor and B major, occasionally going down to A flat minor and B flat major. It's in the key of E flat. Now, basically that first theme is played out over the first, you know, 8 to 16 measures. And if you go to 23 seconds in the song, we come to our first variation. All right, so now we're using the exact same pattern, except the right hand is up an octave up here. And the left hand, instead of playing more long chords like this, it's playing a staccato jump bass pattern. Jump bass pattern. So instead of this, it's a variation. It sounds like this. Uh, same thing but slightly different. And the reason this works so well, the theme and variations, uh, I kind of learned this, I read a book on how our brain processes music and basically your brain likes things that are similar to what you heard before but not too similar. Because if something is too similar and it sounds the same, it gets boring. But if something is too different, it sounds weird. So our brain really latches on to things that are similar but slightly different to give it so it's not boring, it's still fun and engaging, but it's slightly different. So again, we have the same pattern, but now we made it slightly different. By the way, this is the same reason a lot of people love cover songs, right? Because it's the same as the, the original song, but it's not exactly the same. It's a cover, so it's slightly different, and that's why cover songs are so popular on YouTube. All right, let's keep going through the uh, theme and variation model and get to our first harmonic variation. So you'll notice at the beginning, like I said, it's a normal theme. Then the first variation at 23 seconds is articulation, is really the only thing we're varying, right? It's the... It's the left hand jump bass pattern, much more staccato. Now at 49 seconds, we come to our first harmonic variation. Now this is going to be the same pattern in the right hand, still this. But now we're going to play it over different chords in the left hand. So we started with an F sharp major chord, and then we go to E flat minor, and then F minor. So it sounds like this. sharp major, B flat major, and C minor. So you can see it's basically just a descending sequence. Now if you don't know music theory, don't worry about it too much right now. Basically I'm just taking the harmonic uh, chord progression and just transposing it down through different key signatures. Again, if you're not a music theory buff, don't worry about that for now. You can use much simpler 
harmonic progressions uh, with your own melodies. All right, so now we have the beginning, we have the theme. Then we have the first variation at 23 seconds, which is the staccato left hand. Then we have our first harmonic variation at 49 seconds, which is uh, just played over different chords. And now at 108 in the video, we switch again to a harmonic variation. This time we're switching from a minor key to a major key. So that's the part that goes like this. And you notice it's great because it, this whole thing so far has been in a very minor um, sounding chord progressions. So now we give it, bring it to major and boom, we add some brightness to the piece. And it's that contrast from the dark uh, minor key to the brighter major key. All right, now at 132, for the first time, we're dumping the theme. And the reason is we've just done the theme in three different variations. Articulation, a harmonic one, and then a harmonic one in major key. At this point, the audience's ears are going to start getting tired of that theme, even though we're varying it up into different, different ways. So now we go into a melody. So that's the part that goes... Uh So now we do the melody just to break up all those themes and variations. Now after the melody section, boom, we're going right back to the theme and we're doing another variation harmonically. So that's the part that goes like this. And it's a very building theme. And if you notice, that's by the way at 157 in the music. And that's actually a very long section. You could almost argue it's a harmonic, uh, harmonic variation and then it's another harmonic variation. Or you could just consider it one very long harmonic variation section. Either way, it doesn't really matter how you analyze it. Basically, it's just the same pattern but switching up the chords underneath. Now at two minutes and 30 seconds, we're gonna go into a rhythmic variation. And it's actually a harmonic variation too because we are playing it over different chords but it's also rhythmic and it sounds like this. And so on it goes up the keyboard. Now, as you notice, basically all I'm doing is taking this pattern and playing it very similarly but now in triplets. But it's basically the same pattern. It's very similar again, but it's slightly different because we're doing triplets and we're doing it over different chords. Now, another thing I want to mention right here is this is one of my favorite ways to build. And what I mean by build is when it starts kind of quiet and then it builds up louder and louder into the climax of the piece. Um, and the reason this build in particularly works so well is what you want to do for a lot of builds is you want the right hand to move higher and higher because the higher and higher it gets, the more exciting the music is going to sound. And the left hand, you want to get lower and lower because the more bass is in it, the more powerful. So if you can slowly add this excitement and power over the course of, you know, 8 to 16 measures, it makes a really good build section into the track. So I'm just going to play it very slowly so you can kind of see it in action. So it starts over an A minor chord. And then it goes to G. And then to F. And then to E7. And then to A minor. And so on. And as you can see, the right hand slowly creeps up, the left hand slowly creeps down, and it really gives it that building feeling into the kind of the climax of the piece. All right, then at 252, we end with the exact same theme from the beginning. So it goes right back to. Right, exactly the same as the beginning. So that way the themes kind of book in the song. So it's theme, a bunch of variations, and then boom, back to the theme at the song, and the, the, the audience's brain will kind of remember that theme from the beginning. It really ties the whole piece together well. All right, so just to recap, we got beginning is the theme. At 23 seconds, we have the staccato variation, where it's a different left-hand pattern, but same notes. Then we have the harmonic variation at 49 seconds, which is a minor pattern going down. And then we have a harmonic variation at 108, which it transfers to a major key. And then we have at 132 the melodic pattern that drops the theme for a while so the audience doesn't get too bored with the theme. Then boom, 157, back to the theme, but now we have harmonic variation again. Then at 230, we have the theme again with rhythmic variation. And then at 252, we go back to the original theme. 
All right, hope you liked that lesson. If you did, you can sign up for my free Become a Piano Superhuman course. And there's actually a couple of music theory cheat sheets that are really helpful if you're looking to compose. You can download them there 100% free. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Peace out and happy practicing.